Hi there, and welcome to the Kids Art Projects 101 YouTube channel. My name is Dr. Medico, and I am an art teacher at an awesome elementary school near Orlando, Florida. I am so happy that you're here. The content you're about to watch is from our series of short, kid-friendly videos about famous artists. Are you ready to try one now? Let's do it. This is Juan Miro. He's not alive anymore, but he and his artworks are still very famous. He made this painting. Take a careful look. What is this painting about? If you're not entirely sure, that's okay. Miro's artwork is called surrealism. This means he's showing us ideas from deep within his imagination. Have you ever tried to capture a thought from your imagination? Sometimes our imaginations are filled with strange and silly ideas. There are two types of surrealism. One combines realistic images in an unexpected and dreamlike way. The other involves recording whatever ideas, whatever shapes, lines, or colors pop into your mind in the moment. Miro's art falls into this category. This type of surrealism is called automatism. These paintings are from what he called his constellation series. A constellation is a group of stars in the night sky that form a pattern. The pattern might look like an animal, a mythological creature, a person, or an object. When you look at these paintings, can you find things that remind you of the night sky? Can you find stars? How about a crescent moon? Perhaps a nocturnal animal or an imaginary creature? Miro wasn't trying to show what the sky really looked like. Instead, he tried to capture the wonder and freedom of being immersed in his own imaginary nocturnal universe. His artworks look like they're part of a curious, magical dream, don't they? Certain lines and shapes appear again and again in his paintings. Which repeating lines and shapes have you noticed? He liked to include organic, sometimes called biomorphic, shapes. These are irregular shapes that don't have names. Like this one, and this one, and this one. Wiggle your pinky if you can find any organic shapes in this painting. There are several. He also liked to make stars, like these. Shrug your shoulders if you can find any stars in this painting. There are several. He also liked to make lines with dots at the ends, like these. Flap your elbows if you can find any dots and lines in this painting. There are so many. He liked to make eyes too, like these. Raise your eyebrows up and down if you can find eyes in this painting. 
There are so many. What do you think? Can you use these types of elements to create your own surreal painting today? Of course you can! That's it, my friends. I hope you enjoyed this and learned something new. Teachers, build off this specific video with the Open and Go art unit I use in my classroom.